are women and the Arab they have sex with them and then they have a new breed which is a mix between the Spanish and the Arab There's a very famous scientist. The Muslims are so proud of him, but this guy, he don't believe, belong to Islam. His name is Ibn Khaldun. You know, the Muslim, they speak about scientists and historian and philosopher, but philosophy according to Islam is haram, and whoever do philosophy is a kafir, should be killed. This is why Ibn Khaldun was chased from place to place and put in jail from place to place. Ibn Khaldun, he said, in his book, The Introduction of Ibn Khaldun, that an Arab man, he's talking about the Muslims, his people, an Arab man is willing to burn a library or to take down a palace so he might use the papers of the books and the wood of the palace to cook in it. He's speaking who? About who? About the Arab in Spain. Go and read his book. Actually, it's in the internet. You can read it in English. In the year 2018, if we go right now and check Mecca, where is the histor the historian places of Mecca? What 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 those uh, people they did it through civilization of just 1400 years ago? I mean, since now, until now, what what they have nothing. What they have now. Is the money of the oil building high building but before in the time of Muhammad Muhammad he used to live in a small tiny house for the Arab they have no houses like you know this a, it's a Bedouin life this is why you see Muhammad in the Quran promising the Muslims that you will have a couch and you will have a pillow a pillow yes a pillow you know, those better when they like a pillow. Are you sure? A real pillow? Yeah, a real pillow. I and mean, a couch too, because the one who have couches, it was for them known. It is the Roman. It was uh, the Jews. Uh, it was uh, uh, the 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 Persian. Uh, you know, the, the nice clothes, the nice life. But those better when they don't have any. So Muhammad is promising them in heaven that I will give you a couch. For a very simple reason for a couch is a big deal for the Arab if we go in the Quran and do a little search we will find some interesting stories we switch to Arabic Look at this verse as an example. Chapter 18, verse number 31. You can read any, you can read any interpretation or the translation you want. And for those who they are the believers, eh, whom guarding of their property be beneath which is a river flow. And there, where they will live in this heaven, we will decorate them with a bracelet of gold. I mean, have you ever heard of God promising you a priest of gold? Okay, I have a news for you. Brother and sisters, if you believe in me as a prophet, my God is going to provide you with a bracelet of gold for each one of you. What? This is God? Well, I can get one for $50. What what is that what does that mean exactly? I will get a bracelet of gold. The description of the promises is so stupid and so silly, but it fit with that time because Muhammad is speaking to those poor Bedouin who never wear gold before. Are you serious? I will have a bracelet of gold. There's a hadith about Muhammad. He got a ring after he killed the owner of it. 
as some story says and Muhammad keep looking at the ring keep looking at the ring and Muhammad then he said and he noticed people they are looking at him like you know this guy he looked like he never saw something like this before you know so Muhammad he said oh you know what I'm going to take it off because it's keeping me away from Allah because he felt he got exposed so Muhammad is promising you that his God promising you a bracelet made from gold and not only that I have a news for you in the heaven all of you you will wear a uniform made from a green silk made in Iran Istabrak Istabrak is a kind of silk known made in Iran and the funny the Muslim they say to you the Quran is an Arabic book and the Quran confirmed that but Istabrak is not an Arabic word, is not an Aramaic, is not an Egyptian. It is a Persian word, which is about a name of a kind of a silk. It's called Istabrak. It's like promising you, you will wear Gucci in our time. Imagine God, he sent me a verse and I am a prophet. And I say to you, God today told me that all of you, you are going to wear Gucci. Hey Tony, Allah he just speak to me and he told me we will wear Gucci. Yes, uh, brother, you know, can you make some uh, uh, pizza for us? Oh. Gucci? God, the founder, the builder, the creator of this whole huge universe is promising me I will wear a green silk Gucci? Abu Hamza, Abu Hamza, how are you, Abu Hamza? Here we go. We have a Muslim in the text. He called me liar. Liar about what? Guys, I'm liar, lying about what? It's in the front of us in the screen. You see how funny the Muslims? Liar. Look, look, look. He, he just said liar. About what? It's in the screen. I'm lying about what exactly? Tell me. Isn't this your Quran? Hello? Well, it's called the Stabrak. This is Stabrak, is the Gucci of that time. Ah, my Gucci is a lie. The Gucci of your prophet is not a lie, right? Uh, I got the point. Guys, this guy, he have a point here. He's a smart Abdul. He's a prophet promising Gucci of his time, which is called Stabrak. It's not, it's not a lie. But if I promise Gucci at this time, I'm a liar. Why I'm a liar? I can go and order one. Why I'm a liar? I can make it happen. Your prophet could not. He promised you about something in the afterlife. You will wear Gucci. I will shave my 20 foot beard if you will ever wear Gucci of Allah. So what kind what kind of God he promised me green silk? And I will wear for eternity a green silk. I mean, how boring. I cannot imagine myself wearing a green clothes. I will look like those in the cartoon. What they call them? Some four? What they call them, guys? Let me, let me, I don't know what they call them in English. Hold on, let me see. In Arabic, they call them Sanafir. It's a, it's a cartoon thing. Yeah, I'm talking about those. Sanafir, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we will be wearing a green? All of us? For eternity? I can't change my shirt. I mean, can I get different color for one day? For eternity, I will, wearing, I will be wearing a bracelet in my hand made of gold. And I will be wearing a green shirt made of silk and made in iran for eternity and for eternity i am going to be sitting reclining on a raised couch i mean why it's raised couch like is that will make you feel better how how raised it is like a five five floor this is god that promised me to sit in a couch if I turn my camera on, I will show you, show you right now. My neighbor, he throw his couch and nobody's taking it. He have it there outside for three days. He put a sign and it says for free. 
your God is a promise in us a couch and we will recline in it I'm glad he told us what we will do with it because uh, I do not know what to do with the couch I mean if not Allah told me how I will know huh and don't forget please in the heaven we will eat a fruit and those fruits we do not need to go to them they come to us what what yes brother you will be sitting in the couch and the fruit they go down to you and this is the lazy arab huh The Arab are very lazy people. There's a story about a bunch of Arab they want to commit suicide. They ask, "What is the the, the 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 laziest way to commit suicide?" They said, "You throw yourself in the ocean." So they ask a guy to carry them in their in his boat and take them in the middle of the ocean so they can, you know, commit suicide. They are in the middle of the ocean. The guy he said to them, "Okay, we are in the middle of the ocean. Jump." They said, "Can't you make a hole in the boat?" They don't, they don't want to jump. They are lazy. Even committing suicide, they don't want to do it. You know, can't you make a hole in the boat? This is the same story about the hole in the boat of the story of Al Khadr. You remember Al Khadr? The same chapter we are reading from, chapter 18. All right? Chapter 18. If you go to chapter 18 here. You will see a story of a guy, his name is Al Khudr. And Al Khudr simply, he, when he, in his trip, uh, you know, uh, uh, he found a bunch of guys who offer him a ride with them in their boat. So Al Khudr, he start making a hole in a boat. And Musa said to Al Khudr, what, what are you doing, man? Are you crazy? Al Khadr said to him, I told you, you cannot have patience with me, which means you are stupid. I am wise. I have the wisdom of Allah. It, to make it simple, after a while, when after after the boat, uh, after those guys, like he made a, a hole in the boat, a, 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 a pirate, or let us say a, a king who steal boats came by and uh, he looked at their boat and he found a hole in it, so he decided not to take it. Do you see the wisdom? You make a hole in the boat so the guy will not take it, but now you will be drawn. Huh? Any Muslim? Super intelligence religion. By the way, chapter 18 is one of the most funny chapters ever you can imagine. If you don't remember, hold on, let me let me see. Remember before we st we spoke about the fountain of youth. Do you remember the fountain of youth? Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a religion believe in the fountain of youth and the reason al Khadr al Khadr is a person who attended Noah funeral he attended Muhammad funeral I mean do you know how the, the, the distance between Noah and Muhammad what what this guy is doing there simply because the Muslim believe that this guy he drank from the fountain of youth. I guess I found the hadith. Hold on. Where is the Muslim who want to call me and tell me about the science? Uh, hold on. Mm. 
Maybe not this one. Let us see. Oh, here we go. Read with me, guys. Let me make it more clear for you. How Allah will resurrect you? Simply, Allah will pure on you the water of life. Do you see it? Am I making things up? Who is a Muslim when I say I'm making things up? Allah will give us life again by purifying the water of life the, the from the fountain of youth I thought the fountain of youth is something exists in the part of the Caribbean only Do you see it Who is of you want to tell us what is the fount the water of life What do you think? Abdullah is calling in 10 minutes. Hmm. I don't know. The last time I was debating the Muslim, this was like maybe 15 years ago, he said to me he want to go five minutes to the bathroom. Since then, he never come back. So 10 minute time for Muslim, it might be 10 centuries. He's a Muslim. You go in the Middle East, you see the garbage in the street, you call the government, you call the city, you say to them, the garbage is outside. They say, Inshallah, tomorrow we will take it. Inshallah. Tomorrow come, nothing happened. We call again. Inshallah, Inshallah, brother, Alhamdulillah, today is busy, Alhamdulillah, brother. Inshallah, tomorrow. The tomorrow is come. There is a hole in the street, was not fixed for more than 20 years. Because why? The only practice they have is inshallah. The Israeli they are they are doing irrigation by airplanes. They made the desert green again, and the Arab are living under inshallah. This is why we have no jobs. You know, if not the oil, guys, if not the oil, the whole Middle East is is, is dead. The only money they have is from the oil and the gas. Look, look what happened in Jordan. This Jordan have is not lucky. They have no oil, they have no gas. It's a dead country. And if not the money is coming as help and assistance from USA and Israel and the West, the country is dead. And you are telling me a Muslim is going to call me? He just said, "Inshallah." It's mean he. That's mean he will not call. <clears throat> Inshallah, tomorrow we will take Jerusalem back. And they said that sixty years ago, seventy years ago. Inshallah. Inshallah, this will remind me of, of Muhammad in the hadith. Muhammad in the hadith, he said, uh, Are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? The Muslim said, Yes, Prophet, yes. The Prophet said again, Are you sincerely ready to go to the heaven? 
said, yes, prophet, yes. He said, are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? The, the Muslim, they got so excited. Yes, yes, yes. Are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? The Muhammad keeps saying that. Are you sincere? And the Muslim just like get so excited, like, yes, 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 yes. And then Muhammad, after all of those, uh, yes, 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 he said to them, say, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. The guys, they thought the bus is coming to, to pick them up. When you hear, are you sincerely ready, the way he is speaking about it, you might think, the bus is coming. Allah is sending the transportation. So are you sincerely ready? The Abdul gets so excited, 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 excited. And then after all, he said to them, say, inshallah. If a Muslim he says to you, I will pay you inshallah tomorrow, it's mean he will never pay you. The 10 minute is gone. Where is Abdul? The one you told me inshallah will call. Are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? Come on, Abdul, call me and get the water of life. The water of life is there, is ready for you. Don't you want to get the water of life? This is the book of science. Hmm? Only Abdul. Any Muslim? Okay, who have a question for me? Anyone have a question? Especially Muslims, you you cannot call me. No, don't call. No problem. Can you ask me a question, Muslims? Well, Muhammad did, he did not receive revelation for many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is not inshallah. One of them, Muhammad he uh, he found that there is a dead dog under under his bed. Have you ever heard of God stopping to send, he stopped to send revelation to his prophet? Because there is a dead dog under the bed of the prophet. You know, that story about the dead dog, you know, like bring a lot of uh, questions. Uh, because uh, you know, because if Allah is not going to send the message to somebody because there's a dead dog somewhere, because guys, uh, I, I want you to see the image in different way. God, God of the heaven, and then we have a little tiny dog. And God is sending a message. Hold on, I think I think you are not going to get it unless I show you something. Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you how silly this religion is.
and how silly you will be to believe in it. Angels don't enter any house have dogs in it anyway. How a little tiny animal can stop Allah from doing what he need to do? Is there is a weakness in Allah? Any Muslim can explain to me? Let us say I am a prophet and I have those puppies in my house and now Allah want to send me a message But Allah he cannot get in because I have those puppies. I want an, a Muslim to explain to us Is that a weakness in Allah or this is a powerful ability? That God he refrain from entering the place because if he enter something wrong will happen to him what will happen to the angel if he enter in the house of Muhammad and there is a dog I want to know any Muslim can tell us what exactly would happen to the angel I will give you three options the puppies they will bite the angel Hello? Am I speaking to Christian Prince? Yes. So my name is Mohammed Abdullah and I'm from India. You might have seen me in the comment section. No problem, my friend. Welcome. What do you want to say to us, Mohammed? Uh, well, I, I don't want to discuss the current topic, which is science, basically. Hmm. I wanted to ask you a question. Why is Jesus' sacrificial death necessary for salvation? That's a good question, my friend. The answer is in the Quran. Let me ask you. Okay, hold on. Is it true that your God Allah Himself He sent a sacrifice? Sacrifice? Did Allah uh, Himself sacrifice? Uh, are you asking me that was Christ crucified or not? No, no. I'm asking you. Do Allah Himself make sacrifice? Uh, yes, He sacrificed. Why? Uh. Why? Uh, I'm not getting what you want me to. Okay, answer. you know, you are asking me about the sacrifice of Jesus, right? Yeah. Okay. For us, Jesus is God. For you, Allah is God. Correct? Mm. Okay. So, in order to understand what's happening, let us compare between what your God did and what my God did. What Jesus did, he did not jump and die, he did not commit suicide. Simply, he knew they will kill him, and he is not afraid of death for he is going to overcome but he don't want it it's not his uh, it's not, he's not like if somebody go and jump from the top of the mountain obviously he want to die right so it's mm. not the messiah working for the death but he knew the future he knew what they would do and he will not run away from it so mm. the messiah he by by doing this act is a sacrifice a hero when a hero let us say you are an, a person in the army and according to the Quran, uh, Isa is supposed to Jesus. Isa, the Muslim, he asked his followers to sacrifice themselves so he can run away. So he asked one of his apostles, who of you want to take my look so I can run away? Which means the other one is sacrificing too, because he's sacrificing himself so Jesus can be saved. So now here, mm -hmm. what we find in Islam, that the Muslim believe in sacrificing, but it's not legitimate because that will make Isa a coward man. He is asking, you see, if you are a hero, the hero is the one who sacrificed himself to others to save them, not the one who asked others to die for him so he can run away. Do you agree? But was it the only way that God could forgive us? No, my friend, this is not about I the mean, only way. This is not about no, this is not about the only way. Hold on. The forgiveness, you see, I, I don't blame you for by the way, for understanding wrongly about Christianity. Christianity is not only Jesus crucifying himself. Christianity is Jesus himself, God in the flesh, coming to us and turn us to believe in him so we'll be saved. So we will be saved if we believe in him and whatever he do. Crucifixion is one of many things he did. So it's not just by the cross. It is about believing in Jesus. Jesus, he said to the guy who was next to him in the cross, I promised you now you will go in heaven. But Jesus is not crucified yet. But yet the guy is saved. 
Jesus, he forgives sin for many before he was crucified. So Jesus, he promised, hold on, Jesus, he promised many if, people. If Jesus has already paid for your sins, so what stops you from committing more sins? My Why friend, you, my yes. friend, my friend, this is in the Quran, not in my, in my book. In my book, Jesus said, when we say he paid for my sin, it doesn't mean I have a sin free. This is in the Quran. You will not find a verse in the in the Bible says that Jesus paid for my sin, so I will go and I am free to do sin. That's not true. Jesus said, but not listen, 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 let me answer you, Jesus my friend. Sin, so why let, you just let me let me answer you, my friend. Let me answer you. Jesus mm -hmm. said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. Will, in, will will enter the, the the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so you say to him for lord lord you believe in him you worship him still you are not saved unless you do his will but the promise of a future sin to be forgiven is in the quran if you go in the quran and i hope you have your quran with you chapter 48 verse number uh, two no but the, why, why, do you, why do you go to the quran why don't you answer me directly i'm answering you my friend i'm answering you i just told you that we don't have such a thing we don't have such a thing it says that your sin is forgiven and jesus paid for your sin so you can sin as much you want this is a lie it's not so exist and ho hold on hold on hold on no, no when you say something can you can you can you prove it can you prove what you just said that we have a free we have a license to sin can you prove that this is what the christians uh, no, believe or uh, this is your assumption actually, I, you see listen to me your actual claim is that jesus paid for your sins no, no my friend my friend my friend i am not an actual claim i did not say i did not say the word this is you you what you said that what I say, what I said, what I said, no, what I said, I don't tell me, don't tell me what people say. I don't care what people say. Jesus paid for the sin of all mankind. That does not mean the mankind, they have a free license to sin. Not everyone will say to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, which mean you have to do. And he said, but the one who do his will, which mean you have to follow him. You have to do his command. You have to obey him and you have to be decent person as a Christian, as a Christ he was. Otherwise, you don't belong to him. Jesus said the tree who don't give a fruit will be cut off and throw in the hellfire. So it's not enough to be a tree to claim to be a Christian. And one day I will give a fruit. It doesn't happen this way. So don't make false interpretation of you what you heard from some Christian. This is not what they meant. What they meant is that Jesus have no guilt. He commit no sin. He commit no crime. <clears throat> It was our crime because of our crimes. He came to save us why we are on earth because we commit sin Why Jesus came because we commit sin what the purpose of God sending prophets oh, wait, because wait, we commit let, let sin Hold on. So why your God Allah? He sent Muhammad because you commit sin and you need to be saved. Is that correct? I cannot tell you exactly but do you agree or point. not? No, don't yes. tell me exactly obviously yes. you do not know yes. your religion yes. Why Allah he sent Muhammad is that because you are a good person or you need to be saved? because the previous scriptures were meant only for certain group of people for a certain what does have to do with my question i'm asking you what i'm asking you why muhammad he sent was sent by allah what the purpose to do what exactly i mean you could ask this question to any i'm uh, asking any, you aren't you a man uh, are you a kid i'm asking you, you are, we are talking as adult right. i'm asking you why allah he sent muhammad what is the purpose of muhammad to do in earth to guide the mankind to what does that mean Quran? what does that mean to save them uh yes okay thank you very much so now when you say muhammad came in to save us that means you he came because of your sin not because you are a good person so for us as a Christians, we believe that Jesus came to save us from our sin. That means we are we need we need somebody to help us to be saved. So how come you believe Muhammad came to save you, and we cannot believe that Jesus came to save us? So he paid for our sin, which means no, that he was a crucified. Listen, he was a crucified, yes, was a crucified no, no, for no sin. Saying. He did. Did Jesus do anything wrong to be crucified? Can you tell answer that? No, he did not. Do. Okay, so that's what this is what we meant. That he paid for our sin for he paid for no crime you, when somebody get killed for a crime he did he paid for his sin but if we mm. are the sinners and we are the reason for this person to come to save us and then he got killed that's mean he paid for our sin but doesn't mean that this is a license for sin however read with me okay. in the Quran hold on hold on you are the one who opened the topic Wait, see, hold you, on hold on Abdul you see you brought you brought a disaster you brought a disaster for your religion what kind of religion a promising a, a person he's a Muslim to go to heaven and his sin is forgiven in the past and the future can you tell me 
Do you believe? Uh, could you please re repeat the question? Do you believe that it is right to promise somebody that his sin will be forgiven, even the one who do in the future? Uh, I'm not getting what you mean by that. Um, let me repeat the question. Now you want to you want to play slow? Is it all right if I am God and you are a human, and I say to you, it's okay to sin, even the future sin is going to be forgiven? Is that all right? You see, God knows more than us. This is not about knowing. I'm saying, hold, hold on, hold on. Don't play games. I'm saying to you, listen carefully for the question. Is it I'm all right? Saying, is it saying. is it all right that I am God and I say to you, your sin in the past and the sin you will do in the future is forgiven? Yes, it's, it will be justified because you are Why? God. You know what is a second ago, you a second ago, right. a second you know ago. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why so it justified? Why it justified? Judge. Why it's justified? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Creation. No, no, explain. So you know what is good. So no, 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 no. You see, this is not this is not about he knows what he knows. This is about listen, Abdul. Hassan, listen, don't go speak over me saying nothing. This is not my question. My question is. If I am forgiven for the sin I will do in no, the past, hold on, no, hold, hold on, listen to the question first before you answer. Listen to the question. You don't understand my question yet. This is what you do, Muslims. You answer the question before you get the answer. Listen, why I will forgive somebody for a sin he will do? Is that ethical? Is that is it that is not be given? Is that ethical? It might not be given some certain circumstances, but if God tells that He will forgive. Then he knows better than us. This is so not about knowing. I'm not asking you if he knows better than you or not. This is not the question. This is not the question. You are the one who's saying, like, you, you must then believe that everyone should pay for his sin. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Why Muhammad he will not be paid for any sin and Allah forgive him for the past and the coming sin? Why he gave him a license for sin? Uh, how, how, how do you how do you prove that? How I prove that? What do you mean? I can't prove it? You must not say it says that he said Muhammad he his sin in the future sin is forgiven. They say that I saw that in the newspaper. Uh, so I don't I, I don't I don't answer for a newspaper article. Okay, Should the newspaper I'm talking about, my friend. The newspaper I'm talking about is the Quran. This is Quran, chapter 48, verse number two. So what do you say now? What do you say now? Are you going to make fun of this newspaper or you are going to respect it now? Uh, you see, I'm not knowledgeable enough. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, yes. um, 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 uh, a second ago, you are knowledgeable about your religion. Now you do not know. A second ago, you are making fun of a newspaper. Now you have to respect the newspaper, but yet it's a newspaper. This is the Quran giving us news. Saying that Muhammad he have a license to do sin in the past and sin in the future. What is the ethic of God? If I encourage a human being to do sin, I don't say to them I will not forgive your sin unless you ask for repentance. This guy is saying to him, Your sin is forgiven, the one in the past and the one to come. What kind of religion this religion is? But the prophet asked for forgiveness. My friend, he my friend, pray. my friend, my friend, you, you he asked for forgiveness for the sin he would do in the future. Uh, I don't know, but you in, in you Muslims uh, in Islam, you, you ask for forgiveness for a for sin you did not do yet. This is what Islam teaching you that in Islam you ask for forgiveness for a sin you did not do. Like you, you say, Allah forgive me for raping a woman, but you did not rape a woman. Does that mean you are planning to rape her? No. But so how you are? So what do you mean, Allah for the? It's speaking about the past and the sin to come. So it is not the Christians who believe in the free license of sin. It's you Muslims. Okay, okay. No, no. I, I want to move from this topic, but uh, what's wrong with this topic? Move. You don't like it? What What's wrong? You don't like the newspaper topic? No, I, I was I was making another point, and you twisted the. No, this is idea. the topic. This is the topic you talk about about sacrificing. And let us go. Hold on. We, we are not. We are not done. Wait, wait, I want to ask let, you. Let no, no, no. You are the one who opened the topic of sacrifice. Hold on. Why Allah? Why Allah? When you say sacrifice, why Allah? He gave a sacrifice. Do you know? What kind of sacrifice are you talking about? I don't know. In the newspaper, it says that Allah He gave a sacrifice. No, why are you referring to the Quran as newspaper? 
because it's a newspaper for me. I don't respect it. It's a newspaper. And then what kind of a book? It says that there is a, a, a you know, there is a bird who speak to the prophet, and the, and the, the prophet he or an, or an ant speak to the ants. I mean, this is a, it's a newspaper for kids. Even kids will not take it. Now answer. You see, Allah, Allah gave, Allah gave. Allah gave. Don't change topic. Hold on. Why Allah? He gave sacrifice to who? Allah gave sacrifice to who? What sacrifice are you talking about? In the newspaper, it says there is a sacrifice. Aren't you knowledgeable about your religion? I'm not getting about the what sacrifice are you? Well, in the Quran, in the newspaper, in front of me, it says in chapter 37, verse number 107, it says that Allah He gave a great sacrifice. Allah sacrificed to in Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't. I'm an Indian. So I why you are Arabic, asking me to speak in speak. Arabic if you don't speak Arabic? Huh? Why you are you asking me to speak Arabic if you don't speak Arabic? I'm not asking you to speak so, Arabic. I don't know what I, what, so what you are saying. I don't know what you said Arabic. No, I said that I can't. I can read Arabic, but I cannot understand. You know, Eesh, can that's amazing. He can read words. Arabic, guys. Take a note, please. He can read Arabic, but he not understand Arabic. So you not know Arabic. You are reading yeah. letters. In Most listen, my friend. You, you know, listen, 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 listen. Listen. What does have to do with my question? If you know Arabic, you do not know Arabic. I'm not asking you about Arabic, my friend. This is not Arabic class. I'm asking you. Allah gave sacrifice. What is the point? Could you please elaborate what sacrifice are you talking about? Well, the Quran says Allah He gave, he gave a great sacrifice, a mighty sacrifice. Uh, what do you say? Allah gave sacrifice to who? Allah gave sacrifice to who? Sacrifice to whom? Yeah. Allah sacrifice to Allah. When I give sacrifice, no, I give. Same way, I can object that God sacrifice to him, like you said. Just God is sacrificed to God. Sin. So you have no problem if God sacrifice to God. Mm, okay. No, no, I'm say, asking you. Don't you okay? Is that yes or no? You don't have a problem that God sacrifice to God. Uh. uh, uh actually uh, -uh. Uh, uh squeeze it. it what is it coming or not are you okay with god sacrificing to god either you say yes i am okay with it or you say i am not okay with it if i say i'm okay then you're going to propose your propaganda don't tell me what i, I am proposing you're afraid to answer anyway you are scared the, like hell to answer me because you know whatever you say you are going to get busted so tell me what you believe but just be honest don't worry about what you will say. Islam is Islam. You know, you cannot change it. So, are you okay with you God sacrificing to God? From a conventional per perspective, I would not agree to it. But since it's in the Quran, so I have to agree ah, with it. Anyway. You have a point there. Guys, he is not agreeing with it. But because since it is in the Quran, I have to let it go. <laughs> That's why I told you it's a newspaper. Here we go. You just convinced me that you are a false Muslim for you are a person who don't agree with it but because it's in the Quran you have to say to me I agree with it so in your in your heart in your mind this is stupid it's what you are saying to me and you cannot believe that this yeah, is happening not exactly not exactly like what does that mean this is a crazy not stupid you, you see from a conventional perspective from what I've been um, indoctrinated hmm. uh, it, it won't sound very logical to me but if it's in the Quran then I have to agree with it anyway so are you telling me you are a guy who, who goes and follow logic uh, no you're going to uh, post some description why you are Quran. asking me what I'm going to I mean you are the one who mentioned the word logic so let us talk about logic did you are you a person who believe in logic I, I did not say the word logic I was talking about the conventional perspective yes you said it's me till not logical did you are the one who said that when you say logical it's mean you believe in logic so do you believe in logic or you don't believe in logic why do you ask gotcha questions like my friend you are the one who mentioned the word why you say to me the word if you don't mean it when you speak to Christian Prince, every word will use you will, will be used against you in the court of law. So be careful. You mention logic. Do you believe in logic or you don't believe in logic? I do believe in logic. No, okay, is it logical? Is it, is it logical that Jesus have no father and his mother? She gave birth to him as a virgin. 
if uh, you're asking from me in uh, in regards to uh, as to what what is written in the Quran or yes yes in the Quran in the Quran it says Jesus have no father and Mary she was a virgin she gave birth to him what is the logic of that do you have an explanation no but how can I mean uh, I don't have an explanation for this if God did that so why would I object to that if my friend uh, you are the one who mentioned logic so who is talking about objecting that? I'm not asking you to object I'm not asking you to object please please don't object no I don't have any problem so this is I'm not I'm not asking if you have a problem I'm asking you do you believe in what is the logic I'm not asking you if you have a problem you don't have a problem later we can go to the problems it's coming yes, I do believe in logic but what is the logic of that then uh, uh, the virgin birth of Jesus mm -hmm. why Allah he made this happen I mean obviously uh, when God he made something happen it should be for a reason right don't you agree it must be a reason uh, yes so what the reason so that does not mean uh, that humans can discern everything what God said uh, 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 Abdul this is not my question I'm asking you what is the reason for your God to make such a miracle happen because this is amazing miracle but what the point of it my mom so my mom let me tell you about my mom my mom God. my friend my friend my mom my mom she have 20 kids and she claimed that she delivered them all of us and she was a virgin. What do you think about that? Is that true? Uh, it won't be but if huh so there's no and there is no way to prove it to be wrong or right, right? So what what is the logic of something nobody can prove? Because women she can say whatever she wants. She can say I delivered this boy and I was a virgin. Nobody so can are witness. You, are you objecting to Mary? No, I am a Christian. Huh? I believe that Mary, she was a virgin. I'm asking you in Christianity, so there is a reason. No, listen, it, listen, I listen. I am asking you, what is the reason for this miracle to happen? In Christianity, we know why it's happened. You Muslims, do you know why this is happening? What is the purpose of this miracle? Or just Muhammad, he copy paste. He copy from the Christian that Mary, she was a virgin, but he have no idea why. He put it in his Quran. So you Muslims, do you know why Mary she was a virgin or you do not know? Why should there be a reason for that? I mean, if God did that, so why would you? No, there is a reason because a out of all mankind, there is nobody is born of a woman except Jesus. So there is a reason. It cannot be just happen and it's an accident. Is Jesus is an alien? Is, is, Mary, is, Mary an al is Mary an alien or she is a human being like the rest? So I can also ask you the same question is Mary don't you can ask me you can ask me no, I, I, I can answer you no work. problem but answer me first and I will answer you for me it happened as a miracle for Jesus is not of this earth Jesus said my kingdom is not in this earth it's above for he is coming from above he said before Abraham I am so he is not of the mankind he is born in the flesh but he is not of the flesh so now we know why for Jesus have no father for he is the word of God who is born of a woman. Now we know why. Now, why in Islam Jesus have no father? Explain to us. If he were born of a fa father, uh, wouldn't he be the son of God then? If he were born of a father. Thank you very much. So guys, did you hear what he said? He just he just answered and get Muhammad busted. He said if, if, if Jesus is born of a father, he cannot be the son of God. But now because he have no father, so who is his father is the one who made his mother brethnet who is the one who made the mother brethnet according to Islam is Allah so based in your logic now Allah is the father of Isa no I'm not saying that you just said that you said How if you have a father that? you just said that you, you just that? said you just said if Jesus that. have a father like everybody then he, he cannot be the son of God thank you very much for saying that so now you give us no, a logical I'm, I'm, reason I'm why this, Jesus you, have you no this. so then let us go to zero this. let us go you to zero listen, you don't listen, listen to listen let's go to zero why Jesus have no father I don't have answer why you don't have answer what's wrong with you Muslims you have a newspaper this is why it says a newspaper why Trump is meeting Kim Jong-un we do not know why Trump he said we don't know it's a newspaper we do not know we don't we are not inside the White House so all what you are saying to me I believe in a newspaper but I, I believe that everything written there is true but I do not know why It's not like that. Just because I don't know, that doesn't. So you just, does okay, you be, but you believe in something you do not know why, why. So this is what it. This is how it is. You believe in something, but you do not know why. Why Jesus have no father? But a second ago, you you were knowledgeable. What happened? A second ago, you told me if Jesus have a father, he cannot be the son of God. Then 
Thank you very much. So you gave me the answer. I did not say that. You, you said that. You said that. You said you said that. Uh, all I was saying, all I was saying I swear by the newspaper Jesus you said that. Of a father. Why couldn't he be the son of God then? If was, he was born of a say father. Say again, say again what? If Jesus was born of a father hmm. by natural birth, why couldn't he be the son of God then? Because then he would be a son of a man, Roman man like everybody. Who is the father of uh, Jesus now? According faith. to Islam, according to Islam, who is the father of Jesus? Uh, there's no father of Jesus. Well, it is, is that possible that a person is born of a woman, but he have no father? So is that possible in Christianity? Yes, it's possible. It happened to Jesus, for he is the son of God. In Islam, why? It's so what, can... In Islam, what is the reason? Why, so why Jesus, Jesus why uh, Jesus, Jesus why Jesus have no father? I want to know. What is the purpose of that miracle? Uh, we believe in miracles. That does not mean every miracle. But a miracle, a miracle nobody can witness for is not a miracle, my friend, unless there is a purpose of it. Because nobody can witness what happened in the bedroom with Mary. <clears throat> except Mary. So how how and why miracle happened so God can show his power like Jesus he made the blind see everybody saw that it was not a secret Jesus made the man who cannot walk walk so people will see and they will believe Jesus he walk in the water Jesus he feed the thousand of people she's Jesus he healed the, the leper Jesus he resurrect people from death but all of this is done in public not in secret for people to see what God can do so now what happened to Mary is something so private nobody can see and there's no proof of it to be true or not. So what the purpose of this miracle? Miracle is to show the glory and the power of God. What God can do? Yes, okay. So, so what is the purpose the of this miracle? Of God if she was born of a, uh, what is the purpose if nobody can see it? If nobody can see it, what is the purpose? Uh, what do you mean nobody can see it? Everybody nobody can see the, it. Who was who was who is the witness? Who is the witness that Mary she was a virgin? Miracles need witnesses. Uh, I could I could ask the, I could ask you the same question in terms of Christian. I told you why I that. told you I told you for us we have a reason for you. You cannot explain if it's just a miracle, but, but then you have to explain why the miracle happened. For me, I told you why. For Jesus is not from this no, earth, he is the word of God, he is yeah. the word of God who sent down to this earth. And he took the flesh. He is a son of no man. And this is why he have no father of the earth. So now we are asking you. The same story exists in your Quran, but it's cut off of the Bible without explanation. And you Muslims believe in it blindly without asking yourself, okay, why Muhammad don't have a father like Jesus? How come? Yeah, he was a... Uh, uh, what, 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 I, what, what, I, I, I don't I don't know how, how to answer okay that. why okay forget about Muhammad why Musa don't have a father I mean every prophet had a father every prophet have Jesus. a pro father every prophet have a father except Jesus why I don't have answer to that okay let me ask you then Muhammad he was born four years after his father death how you explain well, that uh, Muhammad was born. What? He was born four years after his father's death. From where do you get that? I've never heard of it. Mm, from the newspaper. Oh come on! What? Okay, if I prove it to you, what you will do? Do you promise me to leave Islam? Uh, no, I need to search it from my search. Ah, you need to search it. it from your search. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, let me ask you. Uh, according, that, that's according. Sorry, that's sorry, but coming on to my first question, mm. uh, I, I like you said, um, uh, you don't have a license if uh, for committing whatever sins you want. Mm. It so basically you're saying that Jesus paid for sins, but conditions apply. You only go to heaven if you follow certain commandments. My friend, you don't. Uh, my friend, my friend. To make it simple for you. Jesus, uh, one, one, one more thing. Jesus so, save, uh, Jesus so save, so Je hold on, Jesus hold on. Jesus save, no hypocrites. Jesus save, no hypocrites. Islam claim that everybody will be saved, including the hypocrites. Islam is from the devil. It no, is Islam the, who promised you. It is Islam. Let me ask you: Is it is it Allah who said? Allah Prophet who said? 
that Allah will place all the sin of the Christians. Oh, sorry, all the sin of the Muslims. Sorry, uh, all the sin of the Muslims. Hadith, right? Hold on, hold on. Sunnah hadith. hadith. You are not a Sunni. You are Shia. No, I'm a Sunni. You are a Sunni. Okay. Is it true that your prophet said all the sin of the Muslims will be placed on the Christians? You see, I have heard Shabir Ali's answer to this. He says that uh, if if a hadith does not agree with the Quran, then we reject that. And since this hadith okay. does not agree with the Quran, okay, Shabir Ali is a, Sh Shabir Ali, my friend, is a potato, and he ran away from debating me. Shabir Ali is a potato, and he he ran away from debating me. Now show me where it does not agree with the Quran. Uh, I mean, how how can you say that? Uh, he's a potato. He ran away from me. He ran Christians. away. He's a potato. Now answer me. I don't care who is he. He said to you, "If does not agree with the Quran, which verse does not agree with this?" Did he say, did he mention to you? No, but the basic theology has to. No, be no, 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 no. It's it listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Shabir Ali. He said to you, "If a, if a hadith does not agree with the Quran," he didn't say to me. I've heard him saying. Ah, heard him. Okay, he heard him. So he, okay. So did he say to you which verse in the Quran contradicting this hadith? No. So uh, I mean. So how so how you are convinced now that Shabir Ali is saying the truth? Why he did not give you the hadith which is contradicting the the, the verse? Which verse? Same time, my friend, Shabir Ali is an official idiot because there's tons of hadith in the Quran. Quran is a hadith too, and tons of hadith in the hadith contradict the Quran, but the Muslims they follow the hadith. As an example, the Quran say you do muta. Hadith says you don't do muta. Which one you do? We don't practice it. It was why uh, I guess uh, abrogated by Umar. Ah, abrogated by Omar, guys. Do you see it? The Prophet Omar, peace upon him, he is the one who abrogated. <laughs> so Quran says, you just said to me that Shabir Ali told you, if a hadith contradicts the Quran, we don't take the hadith. So how Shabir Ali yes. is following the hadith of Omar? Following the Prophet Omar? Not the Quran. Uh, you see how they fool you, my friend? This Shabir Ali is a liar. He grow his beard. Because he have nothing behind it, the beard they grow for a reason. Too much fertilizer. The fertilizer mm -hmm. the Muslim they add to their beard will, is, is not a knowledge; it's a poo poo. So now, did you ask Shabir Ali? Okay, if the Hadith contradict the Quran, brother, so how come we follow the Hadith more more than the Quran? Where in the Quran says pray five times? It is in the Hadith. The Quran say three times. Where in, uh, 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 what? Uh, the the, uh, the Quran orders Muslims to follow the Sunnah, and we find the Sunnah in the Hadith. My so friend, a second ago you Muslims told me. A second ago you told me. Listen, Abdul, Muhammad, Quran. Muhammad, Muhammad, you told me. Shabir Ali said, if a Hadith contradicts the Quran, we don't yes. accept it. Okay, so how come you accept the Hadith of the Muta, which is made by Omar, as you said, against the Quran? Who is your God, Omar or or Allah? Allah said you do muta. Okay, so Allah said do muta. Omar said don't do muta. I, I, I didn't know the context in which it was said, so I cannot answer to that. Ah, question. but there's hundreds of things you don't follow in the Quran, you follow in the hadith. So Shabir Ali obviously is lying to you about what he said about if the hadith contradict the Quran. That's a garbage. So is there a verse that supports your arguments that uh, Muslims since will be put on to Christians and they'll be forgiven no matter how much they commit sin. Is there a Quran verse supporting your argument? Well, my friend, the Quran, um, you mean which which newspaper you are talking about? The, the Quran number one or Quran number two? What do you mean Quran number one, two? Well, the Quran number, uh, had, wait, wait, newspaper number one is the Quran, newspaper number two is the Hadith, but both of them, they are Quran. No, I'm talking about the Quran. Quran is a hadith because the Quran is a hadith too. Don't you know that? Isn't it the Quran is a hadith? Uh, so, uh, no, there's a distinction. Hadiths are the sunnah of the Prophet. Are so, you sure? And Quran is. Are you sure? This this is not what the uh, newspaper says. The newspaper in front of me. My I friend, say. my friend, the newspaper in the front of me. It says that the Quran is a hadith. Wait a second. Let me see. Yeah. 
Yes. You said you, you said you speak Arabic, right? You you know how to read Arabic? No, no, I I don't I don't speak Arabic, mm -hmm. but I can read. Okay, here in front of us, <clears throat> Allah He keep using the word hadith, 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 etc. And then Allah He says that the best of the hadith is is the Quran. All those hadith is in front of you. Those all the Quran speak. I don't know if you can see my screen. Allah نزل أحسن الحديث كتابا. So what is the Quran? Is a hadith. What does the hadith? What does the word hadith means in Arabic? Allah نزل. A second ago you told me hadith, hadith is not a Quran. Kitaban. So now the Quran is a hadith. So which one is a hadith? The Quran or the hadith is a hadith? Obviously both of them are hadith. What does the word hadith means? Tell speeches. Me speeches. Speeches. Yeah. It's a speech. Um, this is a this is additional general, proof. Since, this is additional proof general, that this is cannot be this is cannot be God people. because this is a speeches of people, people making hadith. God don't make hadith. Hadith is people speaking. How Allah He says the Quran is a hadith. It's the speech of Allah because it's because it's the speech of Allah. But Allah never spoke. Can you show me where in any any page in the newspaper you believe in that Allah he spoke to Muhammad? But he spoke to Moses. And this is different. This is them. this is different. Uh, this is a new the, Muhammad in his newspaper. He's copying from different book. Okay, but Muhammad he never heard his voice. Okay, let me ask you then. Why Allah spoke to Adam? Allah spoke to Isa. Allah spoke to Moses. Allah spoke to Abraham. Allah even spoke to Alexander the Great. Why he don't want to speak to Muhammad? Do you know? Do you know why? Uh, every single name every your, single your name in the Quran of those who you call, you call them prophets every single names of those who you call them prophet Allah spoke to them except Muhammad why because Archangel Gabriel would bring revelations from Allah to him oh hold on so why uh, so is, is Jibreel like someone he is newly newly hired so why he did not, no. why he did not send Jibreel to Musa or to Isa why Allah he speak to Isa what is Jibreel at that time? He was vacation the Caribbean islands. No, but what's the problem in accepting that if he, even if he did not speak to him directly, what's the problem in accepting no, that? You see, we are, we are, we are looking for the unique information. Muhammad is unique. He have no miracles. His God never spoke to him. He never saw his God. He never heard his God. He he got a guy. You come to him as a man. He squeeze him a tree time, and no mayonnaise come out. And yet Muhammad claimed that he is a Jibreel. Do you have a proof that this is an angel? He saw a man. So you are referring to the circular reasoning. I'm asking you if there is any proof that this Jibreel is exist and he really spoke to Muhammad. He's also mentioned in the Bible. My friend, what Bible? There's no Jibreel in the Bible. No, not even a single verse Gabriel. in the Bible. No, Gabriel is different from Jibreel, Archangel different name. Gabriel. You see, your prophet cannot even pronounce names. Are you are you saying that to me? Because either Muhammad, you do not know how to say the names. If this is the same person, it's mean your prophet, he cannot quote the name correctly because Jibreel is not Gabriel. So who is he? Are you, no, you, you tell me. Muhammad, he, a guy came to him and he started squeezing him in three times and he said to him, read, what is the proof that this guy is an angel? The Quran confirms that where, where show me the story of the of the cave of Jibreel in the Quran. If okay, you show me, uh, hadith, listen. I if guess, you show me this uh, story, I'm going to shave my beard. I promise you. <laughs> what? So there's no proof. It might not, my friend. There is, there is, there is, there is something. It's called. It's in Sahil Bukhari six six two eight. I guess six six eight two or six six two eight. If, I don't. If, if 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 man, this guy here. Remember the hadith number. I'm really shocked. You are so good in knowledge. Um, you know, let me call a friend because obviously I cannot debate you after after you gave me the number fast. What's Sahih al Bukhari? Who care about it? Where we know where it is, my friend. I'm asking you, what is the proof that Jibril? Is exist in Islam Muhammad he said that a guy his name is Jibreel according to Waraq ibn Nufal he come to him and he looked like his boyfriend his name is Dahyal Kalbi so are you saying that Jibreel is not mentioned in the Quran no it's mentioned in the Quran like Muhammad he have a fight so, with his wife hold on hold on as long as you're saying that let me show you as an example is is Jibreel 
he work with the police station if a man and his what wife they, if a man and he and his wife they fought should we call Jibreel what do you think if I have a wife or wives and uh, I have a fight with my wives who is the one in the cha in charge is it the police or Jibreel who I will call him to come and help me according to the Quran Muhammad, he have a fight with his wives. If you go to chapter 66, verse number 4, you will see that Muhammad having a fight with his wives. And then Muhammad, he said, well, you know what? If you don't, if you don't repent, you two of you and the two women, they have uh, other women, they are like uh, the, the wives of the prophet became two parties. One is Democrat and one is Republican. So, they divided the women and both of them now they are striking against the prophet so the prophet he said because he gave up and he's afraid they will kill him look what happened he said and this is in the newspaper not from me from the Quran as you see chapter 66 verse number four if you ye turn in repentance to him your heart are indeed so inclined but if you back each other back up each other against him which means Muhammad Truly, truly, Allah is his protector. And Jibreel, what do you say about that? Why Muhammad, he needs Jibreel, an angel of God, to prote protect him from two women, they are five foot tall. You're bringing me facts that I don't have answer to. I'm asking no. you now, I'm asking you, is he, is, he a, is he an angel or he is just a guy he work in the maybe fire uh, fighter station, police station. A guy having a fight no, with his two wives. Him. Listen, a guy he's having a fight with his two wives. What is the business of Allah and Jibreel and Mikael and the angels and the believers? Muhammad is involved in 1.4 billion Muslims. It might be to set an example for future. What example? Uh, if I have a fight with my wife, I will say to her, if you don't, if you back up each other, Jibreel is, my, is going to protect me. What do we have to do with this? Have you ever seen you, you, you with my respect to your mother and your father? So that, have you ever heard your father saying to your mother, if you go against me, Allah and Jibreel and the angels and every righteous believer will go against you? What no, is the need? Why Muhammad? Right why right Allah is involving? Right listen, listen, listen. The, the one he's talking here is who? Is Allah, right? Yes. Okay. Allah saying to Muhammad, if those two women don't repent, you better tell them that I will back you up. Hold on, it's not enough because Allah is weak. And Jibreel, hold on, it's not enough. And every single We're Muslim, that kill them. and not We're enough. Certain. Well, my friend, it, it says in the front of me, two women fighting with the Prophet. What is the need of all this army? Allah and Jibreel and every righteous Muslim and all the angels. All of them, they are going to protect the prophet from those two females, and those two females they are throwing tomatoes at the prophet, not rocks. So when you say to me that Muhammad he received message from Jibreel, where is Jibreel? Did Jibreel protect him? And where is Allah? I don't have answer to that. Why Allah? Why Allah? Isn't it enough to say to me, Allah is my protector? Why I need Jibreel? If Allah protect me, who need who need who need Jibreel? Who's Jibreel? Is it just an angel? Muhammad here saying, if both of you don't repent, indeed, and you back up each other, indeed, Allah is his protector, and Jibreel, and the believers, and every single angel, Muhammad he involved the whole galaxy in a fight with two wives. Who is left? Who is left is not is is not involved in this stupid fight. A guy fighting with his two wives. They are not using swords. They are using shoes. So the wives of Muhammad throwing their shoes at Muhammad, accusing him to be a child molester, a thief, a liar, a cheater. Why Muhammad is calling all this army to defend him? What the part? What the problem? I'm not able to answer to that question. Uh, my friend, since you call me, each time we spoke about something, you see, and I'm able not to, to answer this question. Do, are you able one day to answer anything? 
No, not exactly what okay. you're referring to, but you always ask gotcha questions. You hmm. trap me. I trap you. You see, you know, did you ask Allah about do you know about the trap of Allah? Have you ever heard about the trap of Allah? No, no, my friend, you just mentioned a very important word. I forgot about it because Allah in the Quran He said He said He trapped people. Don't you know that? Are you aware that Allah He trapped? He trapped whom? The Christians. Let me ask you. When oh, you call me, when you when you call me, when you call me, you start talking about Jesus crucifixion. Is that correct? Is that yes. correct? Okay. Isn't it Allah who trapped us with with the belief of the crucifixion? You see, the converse, conventional Muslim perspective is that he was not crucified, mm. but now scholars like uh, the major scholars admit that he was crucified, mm. but he did not die. Ah, he was that's crucified, but did not die. Theory, but the Quran didn't it. say that, my friend. The Quran says they crucified him not. I mean, your scholars are a bunch of idiots. Who is their scholar? Shabir Ali or Zakir Naik? Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali. Ali. They, your Shabir Ali is too much potato, my friend. He's eating too much hummus. I like hummus, by the way. The Quran, my friend, says they killed him not, they crucified him not. So what? They killed him, but he did not die. And the potato, tomato. Where did this guy get this from? Is he Ahmadiyya now? I believe Ahmed, uh, Shabir mm. Ali is a sneaky person. He's Ahmadiyya undercover because this is what the Ahmadiyya believe. Now, if we go in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 157, there's nowhere it says that. It says it clearly. They killed him not. They crucified him not. But it was made to appear to them, which means he was crucified. So now, as long you are saying trap, why Allah, he trapped the Christians and made them believe that Jesus was in the cross? Because the Quran confirmed that the Quran confirmed that Nobody killed Jesus and nobody crucified Jesus, but Allah He made the Christians and the Jews and the Roman and everybody see Jesus in the cross. That is a trap. Why Allah uh, doing if that? If the word by crucified it means that He was, uh, he, I mean, uh, if the word crucified here meant that He did die and in actually, my friend, my friend, actually already, already the verse says they killed Him not. So there's no need to repeat no crucify. And which means no, and killed him not. He already says they killed him not. Can you do you know how to read? Or you are literate like your prophet? It says, but they know, killed so, him. So listen to me. They, they killed him not. Him, listen, 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 general. listen. What the Quran saying? They, but they killed him not. No, they crucified him. So the Quran Even confirmed the crucifixion. He might have. He might not have died. My friend, the Quran says there is no crucifixion. Are you crazy or what? If somebody said, if by you, the word but my friend, my friend, the Quran death. confirmed two things. He said already he, he was not killed. He said, the Quran said that. Read with me. It says, but they killed him not. Stop. And the Quran continue. No to crucify him. So the Quran confirmed death is not happening already. And he confirmed additional thing. Crucifixion never happened to Jesus. So now, Allah continue talking, saying, but it was made to appear to them. If we read your scholar's interpretation and your prophet stories, he speak of that Allah, he made the look of Jesus on the look of somebody else. They captured that guy and they arrested him and they crucify him. Why Allah so is according making... According to you, the swing, the swing to read does not hold water. My friend, what water? The Quran, the Quran. Don't tell me according to me. According to the newspaper well, in front of me. Basically, according, uh, yeah, but, whatever you call it. Uh, so, the, so do you? Uh, so you think that the swim swim theory does not hold water? The what what what? Uh, I mean, it's not um, uh, appropriate considering the verses if we uh, interpret their meanings. I don't understand you, my friend. I need to explain to yourself. I don't know what you mean. What, what, uh, the, Allah in the Quran here is saying that Allah, He made someone look like Jesus. Don't you think this is a trap? Because now we Christians believe that Jesus was in the cross because Allah, He did lie to us. Who is the one who made this so, lie happen? So basically, the Swin theory, theory is not a good explanation. The Quran is saying that, uh, so are you saying to me Allah is, is, uh, is funny now? Are you disrespecting Allah? No, I'm not. Okay, you are saying that because the Quran is saying that Allah, He made 
him appear to be in the cross he made him appear the Quran confirmed three things that there's no crucifixion there's no death for Jesus or they call him Isa and in the top of that there's somebody placed in the place of Jesus Allah says and it was made to appear so we saw in appearance the appearance of Jesus on the cross in appearance we saw his eyes his face his voice in appearance it was Jesus but that was only appearance so Allah here he did lie to us for he made us see in appearance something not true don't you think this is satanic act to deceive the Christians there's a three billion Christian now believe that Jesus was crucified because of Allah lie it's hard for me to say anything in, in regards to that mm, that's deep how old are you my friend I'm 21 21 I'm 19 well, Mr. Muhammad, welcome, and you can call me anytime. I'm glad that I spoke to you. I I hope I wasn't harsh with you, but you know the topic is harsh. No. And Islam is a stupid religion, with my respect to you. I don't mean to insult you, but Islam is very stupid religion because, as you see, the one who made the Christians the Christians according to Islam is Allah. Why Allah did that? Don't Allah knows that now the Christians they will believe that Jesus was on the cross when He made someone look like Jesus? Don't Allah know in the future that he is going to have a new religion, which is false religion, according to Islam. Believe that Jesus was crucified because of his lie. And why Allah waited mm -hmm. 600 years until Christianity is very well established to come and send us Abdul from the middle of nowhere, who don't speak Hebrew, who is not of the Jews, who is not of the Christians. And suddenly he said, oh, Jesus was not crucified. Okay, but other than that, uh, I, I I always watch your content and I see that you reveal every sort of hadith. But do you think that the Prophet did not do anything good? Like he said, be kind for whatever, uh, for whenever kindness becomes part of something, it beautifies it. Whenever it is taken from something, it leaves it tarnished. Mm, my friend, and he said, the best friend, among you is the okay. one who doesn't harm others with his tongues and hands. So uh, did Muhammad harm others? Also, okay, hold on. Did Muhammad harm others? You just said, can you repeat again the hadith for me? The best among you is the one who doesn't harm others with his tongues, with his tongue and hands. So how your prophet, you said, when you see a Christian, humiliate him and force him to walk in the sewage. So Muhammad is teaching you good manner with the Muslims, but you should not be nice to other people. Is that the manner in religion Basically. that I can I can be a, a good person for none for for Muslims only? Imagine if Jesus says, "Okay, be nice to the Christians, but if you see a Muslim in the street, spit in his face, huh? Uh, kick his ass, uh, push him in the sewage, or push him from the top of the mountain." No, my, my problem is that uh, why don't you uh, reveal the other side of the story? He's my friend, there's no other side. There's no other side. There's no other side because this guy obviously is a hypocrite. Because if Muhammad, also said the best among my friend, you so what? Who, who, who cares what he character. said? Who cares? We show we show his act. Jesus said from their fruit, you will know them. So who care for what Muhammad said? Be good. Be good to who? Muhammad he killed his own people. How many people Muhammad killed from his own people? So when you say to me, Muhammad said, be good, but he is not good. Muhammad, did, did Muhammad say to be a cheater? Did Muhammad told you to, as, a, as a Muslim man to cheat your wife? Did he no, say that he to said, you? Feed the hung he, he also said, feed the hungry and visit a sick person and free the captive. If he be unjustly confined. So why, so why, so why, why the Quran says, kill the captives? Where does it say that? If I show you what you will do. I won't be able to answer you. What what else? Ah, uh, here we go. I mean, I will not be able to answer you. Okay, can you do me a favor, Muhammad? Do you have a connection with Shabir Ali? No. Can you call him? No. Why not? I don't have any contacts. If I give you, if I, if we search right right now, me and you live on air for his phone number, can you call him? 
and challenge him uh, to call me uh, and debate me and to refute anything I said. I can do that. Okay. Can you call him right now? <laughs> right now? Via, via Skype? I don't know. You, you wanna, where do you live? You live in Canada? Or USA? No, I live in India. In India? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe it's uh, expensive for you to call. Let, let us do this. I want to give you time to contact Shabir Ali in your own time. Why don't you contact him? Uh, we, you no, we, they, him they did. They did. They, he ran away and they asked him many times to debate me. He ran away. He accepted uh, no, to debate uh, me. You can also call him live on. I, I don't. I, I, if I call him, he will, he will cry. He will say he's harassing me. He might tell his mom or his dad. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you call him right now? Uh, we did. Not by phone. The TV station, they contacted him to debate me and he backed down. He ran away. Uh, did you ever try to contact him by phone? No, no, I will not contact people by phone. I'm not going to chase people. You are a Muslim. You tell him why you don't want to debate Christian Prince. What is the problem? Why you are left alone? And you keep saying to me, Shabir Ali, the reason I'm asking you to call Shabir Ali because you keep mentioning Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, my friend, listen, listen, listen. Run. Instead, he, I want you to uh, deliver. I want you to deliver a message to Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali How can I? How knows, can I do that? knows nothing about his cult. Nothing. But he's the most uh, reputed Muslim. I never uh, saw him refuting scholar. anything. I never saw him refuting anyone. When? Shabir Ali, you ask him about tomato, he answered about potatoes. Never answer anything. Uh, yeah, and you know I, I what? And listen, he, listen, he, listen. He defeated twice David Wood. Who's David Wood anyway? David Wood, he 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 learned some English about about the, the Quran in the internet, the same as you. David Wood is not a specialist in Quran in Islam. He did not study Islam. He doesn't speak Arabic. So this is why Shabir Ali. Did you ask him why he wanted to debate Shabir well, Ali? Did you James ask him? White. Did you ask uh, him? Who's James White? James White. He know nothing too. Listen, listen. Why he want to debate those who know not Islam, but he don't want to debate me. What so the problem? You claim to know everything about Islam. I know Islam and more than Muhammad himself. Okay, but others also know, like James White is quite knowledgeable. You not know anything about Islam. James White is an idiot. He's like your prophet. Oh, why do you say that? Because he believes in a newspaper. Show me one thing James but White, he said. Question. Show me one thing James White, he said about Islam. Is it true? Here we go. Challenge for you. Anything James White said, Shabir Ali said, right now, quote for me something is true. None. None of Shabir Ali's statement about Islam is true. And none of the statement of James White about Islam is true. For both of them, they are from the same potatoes. Hypocrite liars. No, but James White is a Christian, right? He's no Christian. A Christian, he will not lie. This guy is a liar. Why do you say that? He, you because, because, because he lie. And I just challenged you. I said, show me one thing he said about Islam is true. You see how, how sure says, I am? He says the narrations of the Hadith should be interpreted in the light of the culture. Correct. And that's what and who is the one who gets interpretation for the Hadith? The Muslim or the Christians? The Muslims, correct? The Muslims. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why James White is giving, giving false interpretation? Isn't it Muhammad no, he said? But... Isn't it Muhammad he said, I am being victorious by the terror? And there's a context to it, and it okay, give me the context for it. Times. I was victorious by the terror. Give me the tradition. Did Muhammad send letters of terror? No, I'm, I'm not talking about those. Uh, like he said, my friend, my friend, listen, don't mention to me names for those names mean nothing for me. I am not James White, I am not David Wood, I am not Shabir Ali, I am the nightmare of Allah. And you Muslims, none of you can debate me. This is the story, full stop. So when you call me, don't tell me this guy, he debated this guy. Everybody speak for his own. Bring me somebody to debate me. I will give you a week. Next Saturday, not, not a week, Saturday. Next Saturday, we will be live on air. Every Saturday, we're live on air. I've never seen you debate any, uh, I've never seen you debating any top scholar like uh, whom in general sense Muslim considered to be I debated the, the head of the old Shia in USA 
I debated just uh, two weeks ago. Who? I just debated two weeks ago, Doctor Doctor Rohi, who have a PhD from Azhar University. I debated but, the head but, of the Islamic Center but, of but, Tennessee. But, uh, listen, listen, no, my friend. Knows my friend, them. my friend. Nobody knows them. But, uh, yeah. No, they, they are known. What do you mean nobody knows them? Who who is the scholar? Uh, who, who are the real scholar? Who are they? Zakir Naik, who do not know how to read the, the Prophet name correctly. Uh, you have not debated Yasser Qadi Hamza Malik. Who is this guy? Which yeah, them? Okay, call them. Arabic. Okay, let us make a debate. Who is those guys? Those guys cannot say two words in Arabic. They can't even pronounce the name of your prophet correctly. Can you pronounce your far prophet name correctly yourself? Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You see, wa you are saying it wrong. There's no Muhammad. What Muhammad? Muhammad. So you Muslims cannot even say the name of your prophet correctly. You cannot say the name of your God. And then you are telling me those are scholars. Have you ever heard of a scholar? He cannot say the name of his prophet correctly. How do you say it? How do you say it correctly? Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad ibn Abdullah. This is his name. Not Muhammad. What Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? And by the way, his name is not Muhammad. His name is Qatham. So don't waste your time. I'm giving you time. To call all the names you mentioned to me just a few weeks ago, we have uh, what the, what they call them the the, the Titan uh, TV. You know, they called every potato in the corner speaker in England to debate me. They called uh, what his name, uh, Doctor uh, Nabi uh, uh, Adnan, I think Doctor Adnan. Adnan Rashid. Adnan Rashid. He backed down, to, but but they are potatoes. They debate only those who do not know. You Muslims, you pick up your victims. Victims, I say victims. Why? Because you debate a rabbit, so you will look like a lion. This is the whole story. A Muslim, he will not fight with somebody. He will lose in the front. So he debate who? He debate someone he don't speak Arabic. He debate somebody, maybe speak Arabic, but he do not know anything about Islam. This is the whole story. So don't waste your time and my time, my friend. I want you next time to call me and you bring okay. me a challenge. You promise me. Now, next time you will tell me there's a guy, his name is Potato, Tomato, etc. He challenged you, Christian Prince. And I accept from now. Okay, I'll try to do that. But uh, I am not satisfied with the first answer you gave me. Like, About what? It feels like Jesus paid for some people's sin while he did not die for others. My friend, my friend, you see, he, I don't know how, how smart you are. I told you, we don't believe in that. We don't believe in that. You are misquoting things. You are, you, I just answer you, I explain to you, and you are telling me, I don't believe, I don't believe. Who cares if you believe or not? Secondly, I told you that when we say Jesus paid for our sin, doesn't mean that he paid for our sin, so we are sin free. No. No, Every I'm not saying that, but uh, so, uh, so don't don't, don't so don't fool yourself and don't people. say don't don't misuse the sentence. Jesus paid for our sin does not mean that we are giving a check, and we can. I'm I'm not I'm not saying that. All I'm saying that did he die for only certain people, not for he the others? Die for our sin, our sin. Do you know what our mean? Our sin, the mankind, not the Christians. Jesus, he died to save everybody, to save you, to save me, to save the Hindu, to save the Buddhas, to save the atheist, to save everybody. Okay, but uh, and, so, so do you mean? Do you think that they, they all will go to heaven? No, like, no, no. Them? Because even the Christians, if they don't, are you there for what? I told you, Jesus so, so, said, "Listen, so, so, listen, so listen, he, listen, kid, listen, kid. Me. Don't he let me, him. don't let me repeat myself many times. Either you are playing dumb now, or you are playing dumb. I said to you, Jesus said." Not everyone say to me, Lord, Lord, which means God, God. And you Muslim says, where Jesus says, worship me. Not everyone says to me, God, God, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Which means, if you are a Christian, but a hypocrite man, you don't go to heaven. Which means, if you are a Christian, but you are a child molester like Muhammad, you don't go to heaven. Which means, if you are a, child, a Christian, but you don't feed the, 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 the hungry, the poor, if you don't do the good, if you, don't, if you, if you cannot be Christian, then you are not a Christian. To be Christian is to be the same as the Messiah who give and give and give. If you cannot be that, you don't belong to him. If you cannot wash the feet of your followers, which means the feet of people around me, my family, my neighbors, you don't belong to me. This is why Jesus himself, he washed the feet of his apostles. During the time Jesus was washing the feet of his apostles, teaching them how to be humble, your prophet, people, they were fighting over the piss of his to drink it. 
Your prophet people, they were fighting over the water. He washed his testicles with it. Your prophet people worship no, him. No, they didn't. As God, I, I, they didn't. I have a proofs. Okay, what about you? Show Let, me the proof. Show me the proof about the urine thing that you said. If I show you what you will do. Show me. If I show you like what you, you will said. do. What you will do. What you will do. So you're going to show me that people were striving for the water that he was his testicles with. I will show you everything I say. Christian Prince never say something without proof. Never. So if I show you that your prophet, and not only that, a woman, she drank his piss. He promised her that there's no disease will happen to her because of that. What are you saying? I'm not saying. This is what your prophet saying. Read with me. قام رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من الليل إلى فخارة في جنب البيت فبال فيها فقمت من الليل وأنا عطشان فشربت ما فيها وأنا لا أشعر فلما أصبح النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال يا أم أيمن قومي فأهرقي ما في تلك الفخارة قالت قد والله شربت ما فيها قال فضحك النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حتى بدت نواجذه ثم قال أما والله إنه لا تبجع عند بطنك أبدا. The woman she said to him. Your books is your books cover is waving on the screen. Oh sorry, hold on, let us take it. Off. Uh, is this a hadith or what? what yeah, yeah this is a hadith. What's wrong now? It's a newspaper. Wait, which, which, which hadith? It's a newspaper hadith. Which hadith? Okay, you want you want you, you want the numbers? Yes. Okay, there's the, all the numbers. There's many of them. Which one? All of those. Which one you want? No, this one that you're reciting. Okay, this one I'm reciting. Let us start with this one. Yeah, here we go. And translate it into English. No, no. No, I do not know if I can find it for you in English, but I can give you the website. You can translate it in your own. Is that good? Uh, so, okay, but right. at least give me the hadith. Al-Mawahib al al-Mawahib al-Dunia bil-Munih al-Muhammadiyya, volume number two. Uh, book at Tahara was Salad, variant number one, page number 469. Uh, is this a Sahih hadith? All of those, uh, why would I take it my seriously? Friend, my friend, nothing, not, not nothing in Islam is Sahih, my friend. Nothing in Islam is Sahih. Let us not to fool ourselves. What's Sahih in Islam? There's nothing is Sahih, but you sahih are asking me, authentic, right? my friend, so this might you, be you, a... you are asking me, this is Al Mustadrak for Sahih. Yes, this is here Sahih. All right, this is Al Mustadrak for Sahih. This is the name of the book. Variant number four, page number, uh, page number one five five, and the height in the front of you, it's highlighted. Do you see it? And your prophet promising yes, the women, promising the women that she will never have pain in her stomach after she drank his piss. Be honest with me, Muhammad. If the prophet give him give 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 you know gave you his piss, you will drink it, don't you? No, I won't. Why? I can do that. It's gross. Okay, what about drinking camel urine? Mm -hmm. uh, there's benefit in that. But, uh, uh, there's a benefit. Okay, why you Muslims go to hospital? Why you don't go and drink camel urine? If there's Not a benefit, every did, did, your with that. did your mom, did your mom, your dad, your family drink camel urine every morning instead of milk or tea? No. Okay, your prophet never drink tea. So why you are not drinking camel urine like the prophet? Uh, no, it, it was in regards to a certain disease. No, my friend. For no, no, my friend. Your prophet, anyone convert to Islam, all the Muslims, they have to drink camel urine and to drink milk. <clears throat> uh, no, are you referring to that as, as a celebration? What celebration? You Muslims celebrate drinking urine. So, like in those those infidels, they drink wine in the new You're year. You're saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. I'm not You're saying celebration. That. I'm saying every Muslim have to drink camel urine. The Prophet. This is a Sunnah. You know what Sunnah, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but, okay. Uh, let let, me, let me ask you. You know, each time we have a Muslim to, to be, because Muslims keep saying to us that Islam. To, uh, as long as we are talking about urine, and you say this is gross and disgusting, do you think it's right to to swim with water full of urine? 
or piss or dead dogs or women of blood from period no but uh, no, I, I know i know what hadith are you going to show but jesus also said that uh, everything that you eat i think in matthew 15 verse 9 uh -huh. according to that you can eat anything and it is uh, it will not defile you this, something like this, that this is not this is not about what this is what, what jesus said my friend it says it's not what go in no, your mouth listen listen, listen listen uh, listen uh, listen uh, you see thing. a second ago we said if we want to understand something we understand it as the people who believe in it right Okay, Christians don't yes. agree, don't understand it the way you understand it. Don't be funny. Jesus, he meant, don't be hypocrite. It's not what go in your mouth make you dirty. If you do dirty, speak dirty, you are dirty. And this is very logical. Because a person who sleep under the bridge, and he did not take a shower for a year, but he never hurt anyone, is better than somebody. He sleep nice, he dress nice, he take a shower every day, but he's hurting people. But here we notice. So you mean it's, metaphor it's me metaphorical? Yes. Here, Muhammad is doing it literally, taking shower with dead dogs, and he is not taking shower. Actually, he's doing ablution, which means he is preparing himself to the stage of holiness to be meeting Allah. So, how you prepare yourself to meet Allah? Pray to Allah by washing yourself by water, having dead dogs and women of blood from period, and garbage and stinky garbage. How you explain to us? Jesus said that uh, if you're a true Christian and you uh, then poison can't harm you. So, uh, no, my can, friend, can you no, drink that? No, my friend, this is not what Jesus said. What the Bible says that that the Bible, Mark. my friend, my friend, dear friend, you see, you understand it as we understand it, not as you want. The same as we do in Islam. If I show you a verse in the Quran, ask me. To show you the interpretation of your scholars and whatever the scholars they say we go with it i don't give interpretation of my own so you should do the oh, same okay so how do you respond to that so very simple uh, like very simple true, true you see the christians the christian you. believe my friend that even jesus he was killed correct yes okay so that's mean we are not immune against death so what death jesus is talking about the death we are talking about that they can kill our body but they cannot kill our spirit poison hate Evil, all of this will not affect us, for we are promised to be with our Lord for eternity. Otherwise, why Paul was killed? Why all the apostles were killed? All of them, with no exception. So, all those Christians were killed in the time of Jesus. They were discriminated, they chased them, and after that, they feed them to animals. So, obviously, none of the Christians understand it the way you are trying to understand. However, as long as you mention this, isn't it your prophet who said? That the one who eats seven ajwa, no poison can kill him. Uh, yes, he said. Okay. He said that, but in similar way, I can say that. Uh, in med I can say that it was in a metaphorical sense. No, no, like no, because say. this is ajwa. What is the metaphorical of ajwa? What is the metaphorical? He's talking about eating ajwa. You want to make ajwa now metaphorical? Ajwa is a fruit. Whoever eats seven ajwa, no poison. And no magic can kill him. Now this is metaphorical. Eating ajwa is a metaphorical. Uh, it might refer to a certain poison that it, uh, that it could immune. What uh, what certain where where it says it says no poison. It doesn't say certain poison. And here we go. Your prophet he died because of poison, and he was infected by magic, which means both of them happened to him. No, but he died th three years later. It doesn't matter. Are you, are you accusing your prophet to be stupid when he said that he's dying because of poison? Are you accusing him to be idiot? Uh, why would I? Why would I conclude? Because that? you are saying he died. He did not die by poison because he died three years after eating the poison. Correct? Yes. Okay, but if Muhammad says I die because of poison, so are you saying that he's being stupid? He forgot. That he did eat this poison. He did not die. I think it was a word. My friend, he is saying that. Are you? Do you know more than your prophet? Read with me. The prophet said in his element of death, he used to say, "Oh Aisha, I feel the poison I ate in Khaybar. At this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off." So you're a prophet claiming, not me, not you. He is claiming that this poison is cutting his artery. As simple as that. 
So are you are you claiming that you know what happened to your prophet and your prophet was an idiot? He is assuming that he died because of poison, but that does not make sense because he ate the poison three years ago. This is what you are saying. No, you are saying, yeah, you are saying your prophet is not smart. He did not think about it correctly. It must be not some. It's not the poison. This is what you say. Did you say a second ago it is not the poison because he ate it three years before he died? Aren't you the one who said that? So, uh, eh, eh, is this a date close, uh, dated close to his death? Like, yeah, the, the, this is the thing. Uh, the same week he died, Muhammad is dying now. It says there in the element of his death, which he died. Do you read it? Mm. Hmm. So, are you saying you are out in outsmart in your prophet that he is not smart, but you are smart, mm. or you heard this from uh, Shabir Ali too? No, but he has responded to it. Too. Who's the one who gave you this answer? This funny answer that uh, it cannot be because he ate the poison mm. three years ago. Who is the one who give me the name? Uh, I've heard Shabir Ali saying that. Shabir Ali again. Here we go. Another. another see how see how stupid he is. He's insulting your prophet. He just said that he's a prophet. He is stupid. He's losing his mind. But you see, when you listen to him speaking. Uh -huh. You can't argue with that. Ah, now bring him to me. Let us see if I can argue or not. You cannot argue yourself because you are, you know, you are just a, a follower, like a sheep. Meh. But nobody want to discuss with the goat. He's a goat. And you are a sheep. And none of you is trying to go and is, is question each other, like, what are you talking about? So if he did eat the poison three years ago, and there is no way he died because of it, that means he is accusing the prophet to be stupid. And to be a false prophet, because supposedly the prophet, the Quran says, Wama huwa illa wahyun yuha. The prophet, he speak nothing of his own, which means nothing he speak, but is the truth. Mm -hmm. But Shabir Ali, he just said, proves his prophethood, prophethood too, because uh, uh, Allah said <clears throat> that if 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 he speaks in the name of um, if he speaks of uh, in the name of other gods he will cut off his aorta and if he dies the same way as allah said mm -hmm. then does that mean the then the, does that make allah a true god listen aren't you the one who said to me that shabra ali told you if a hadith contradicts the quran we reject it uh, yes but uh, no hold, hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on like hold on 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 you just told me that the Quran said, if Muhammad is a liar, Allah will cut his aorta, correct? Yes. Okay. And he, if he dies, and the hadith, the way, then and, do you and the hadith, that Allah is the true God? my friend, and the hadith now not contradicting the Quran is confirming the Quran. Yes. So, uh, so it, it just in case, uh, just for a second, if I say that, uh, uh, like, uh, Muhammad lied, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lied, just just in case I say that, hmm. and uh, since Allah told us. Um, uh, Prior to his death, that if he does so, he will kill him the same way. And if mm. he dies the same way, then do you conclude that Allah is the true God? No, uh, uh, because simply why? I will tell you. I will tell you why. No, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Uh, uh, what his name? Uh, Didat. You know, and once he said, Ahmad, Did Ahmad yeah, Didat. Didat. He said, if I am lying, may God mute me. He did not say Allah. May may God mute me. And God muted him for seven years or five years. I don't know. He cannot talk. So Muhammad here, he made, it's, listen, it's, listen, it's listen, the Quran. listen, listen, Muhammad here, he did make a lie. He said, if I am lying, God will cut my order. And God, the true oh, God, not Quran. Allah. It's listen, not, listen, 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 God, the true God, punish Muhammad for his lies. Otherwise, you tell me, you explain to me how Muhammad, he say, and he says such a statement. If I am lying, God will cut my order. And then this is the way exactly the how that uh, you you you're confusing two things. Allah said so, not Muhammad. My friend, no, Muhammad said that because he he thought never will happen will never happen this way. If Muhammad he knew he will die in such how a way. How do you prove that? How do you prove that he said that? I mean, we 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 believe that the Quran is the word of Allah. My friend, so my friend, hold on, Quran, hold on, hold on. Okay, if if Allah is the one is saying that, and then he killed Muhammad by poison. Don't you see? There's there's somebody stupid there. That's mean Allah is confirming I, that Muhammad is a liar. So it cannot be Allah saying yes, that. So, uh, it is Muhammad, my friend. Uh, yeah, uh, it just, is just obviously, 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 because if Allah is the one saying that, so one, one, he should one, not one, allow. One, listen, one, listen. Either the prophet if Allah, if Allah is the one speaking in the Quran, saying if Muhammad lie, we will cut his order. 
Allah should not let Muhammad die in such a way because that will confirm that he is a liar, as you said. So this is additional proof so one of them that has it to be cannot be the, the God. And huh? since he died the same way, then it's the God who is true. No, it's, it's uh, but but you just told me that Muhammad is a false prophet in the same time. Okay. Okay, so, thank uh, you very so much. So it's like a paradox. My friend, like paradox. guys, did you hear this? Did you hear this? This guy, he just admitted that Muhammad is a false prophet, but Allah is a true God. No, I'm... Uh... <laughs> Take care, my friend. Did your parents call me? Thank you for calling. So, guys, uh, this this uh, this uh, this Muhammad is a nice guy. I feel sorry for him. But look what he said. That this is confirmed that Allah is a true prophet and Muhammad is a false god. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I am here to prove to you that Muhammad is a false prophet. And if Muhammad told you everything about Allah, everything you know about Allah is from Muhammad, that means Allah, the one you've been taught about by Muhammad, is a false Allah. Correct, guys? As long as he admitted, that Muhammad is a false prophet, I do not need to prove the rest. Because everything you know about Allah is coming from Muhammad. So if Muhammad is a liar, lying about his prophet, and this is why he was killed in such a way, that I mean everything you learn about your God is a false news. And this is why I call your Quran the newspaper. Thank you, Muhammad, for calling me. He's a nice guy. I hope he will call Shabir Ali the potato who don't dare to debate me. I call him potato loud and clear. This is not a sign of disrespect, no. But this is who he is. They claim to be scholars, but they cannot maintain five minutes. Shabir Ali, if he debate me for five minutes, he will be knocked in less than three minutes. He will be out of the stage. He will go and do his PhD all over. You know, ABN, when they asked him to debate me, he said, yes. Then he searched me in the internet and he found that he is no match. So he said, oh, I'm busy doing my PhD. And since then, he is busy. Search his name. He have a program. He have a program show. There is a, there's, a, there's a phone number in the screen, my friend. Call him. Let me, let, let me tell you this. Can you call the D show? Shabir Ali, the D show, Nu'man Khan, all those kids. Who is making business money? Can you call them? I never say to anyone no. Here we go. My Skype is open. I do not know who is going to call me next. Is that correct, guys? I don't care. Anyone can call me. I don't have a filtering machines. I don't have a reception to take this call and refuse this call. People, they will. You will call me right now. Everybody will hear that the Skype ringing, and I will answer the phone. How simple we can do it more than this. I call the D show first, second, third, and they refuse to let me go through. Cowards. We challenged Zachary Naik to debate me. He said to bring 2,000 people to, to, to Bangladesh. I will pay for 2,000. Hardly I can pay for my trip next month. I have a trip next month. I'm going by myself. Hardly I can afford to stay in a hotel. I'm not a rich man to pay for 2,000 people. And as you see, the Christians don't donate much, you know. If I'm a Muslim, they will donate. If my name is Muhammad Khan, they will buy me a TV station. Or they will get me a 12, 12 satellite. But I'm not Muhammad Khan, I'm not a Muslim. If I'm a Muslim, I will get a lot of donation. So the Muslims always define excuses, so they will not debate us. How in the world a Christian prince will bring with him 2,000 Christians to, to, to join a debate? And why you want to debate me with 2,000 Christians? Are you going to debate me or the 2,000 Christians? Honestly, like, you know, uh, like we have little support. And those guys, they have TV stations, they have all the glory, the Muslims, they donate for them, they fly them overseas, they invite them to, uh, uh, etc. Like Nu'man Khan, you know, every every few weeks he have a new conference, and like he was a big shot. This guy, I will make him shish kebab in less than, not even, not even 60 seconds. Before he say, Assalamu Alaikum, I will get him busted.
all the Islamic scholars are a show. They are not real. Zakir Naik, he said the word Hur, brother Thither. The the, the Thither did Al Kikutim. How come in Islam, the Muslim man will have Hur, but the Muslim woman she will not have Hur? First of all, the word Hur is the plural name, and it's for male and female. Look, what the heck? The word Hur is for male and female. The Quran says nobody touched their vagina and they will not bleed because of sex. You made the male? Unbelievable. This is your scholars. We do not need to enable support chart the, the chat the, the people who want to help us we have better you and they can go and help i said that next month i am going to trip you believe it or not people they they start canceling donation i don't know how the christians work you say to them i'm going to to to, to a trip next month which means we need more of your help what they do they stop donation <laughs> you believe it <laughs> unbelievable so beautiful so beautiful anyway my friend, Islam is a very stupid cult. And I can prove it in any I just just speak to me. Say anything you, you know, anything you say to me, Muslims, is going to be used against you. I do not need to prepare for myself for a debate. Let Shabir Ali call me and he choose and he, he start the topic. Say anything. You talk. The same as what happened to you and I was speaking to you in a very friendly way because I know you are not too much educated I pray that this gentleman who called us first of all I want to thank him for being polite and being nice he is not true the same as the rest of the Muslims I respect that of him and I think he is coming from a good family you know you can this is how you tell if somebody is coming from good parents or not I'm telling you, I assure you that this this person who called me, he have a good parents. He have good mother and good father. You know, uh, he did not do what other Muslims do. So he's from a good family, and he can call me anytime. He's welcome. But I want him to contact his scholars, and the reason I want the scholars, he like them to call because I want to show him how they are nothing. But they are fooling people. They are doing business. It's about money. Call your scholars. Tell them what you will lose if you call a Christian prince for 30 minutes. What Shaibir Ali will lose. What he's afraid of. If he can answer, and his answers will be convincing. Is that correct, guys? What he will lose. But he knew exactly what would happen. His career will be loose. It is the end of his career. The head of the Islamic Center in, in Michigan, after he debated me, and this is was, by the way, this guy, he was the, 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 what, uh, the consultant of George Bush. Look at George Bush, the idiot who hired who? He hired this guy, Hisham al Husseini, to be his consultant. In the war in Iraq, you believe it? You believe it? How stupid this USA country? A guy who who teach taqiyya in the mosque he is the consultant of the president. So he was a consultant, and he was in a strike against Israel, sponsoring Hezbollah. He had an interview with Fox News four or five times, and Sean Hannity he could not co like corner him, saying that I support Hezbollah. In my debate with him, I made him say more. He said in his debate with me that soon, inshallah, we will kill all the Christians like you and all the Jews like you, who they are the enemy of Allah. Soon, inshallah, will cleanse the land from people like you. And by the way, nobody took this debate to Fox News so they can play it. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys, you did have a good time with us. Don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. 
for it is the game of subscribe and unsubscribe for me I don't really care who subscribe or not but if you like to join us and to be with us to learn there is no way you will attend our broadcast and you will leave the same as you came this is a free education school here we share knowledge we don't waste time it's a free school and what you learn here you will never learn anywhere and we don't sugarcoat anything we say things as it is who like it like it who don't like it I don't care same as my books if you have my books you will see the same way I talk here it's the same way in my books the difference is my books is more loaded with reference for it is a book and for those who got my last uh, last book uh, which is uh, sex and Allah until now we have a few review but I know like uh, a lot of people bought the book already uh, actually in some countries in Amazon it's number one in mythology uh, but I don't know why only few people did make a review of the book so I encourage you if you got my book and you did read it make a, an, an, a, a review and uh, you know be make an honest review don't say it's fantastic if it's not say I don't like it say I like it say whatever you want but make a review so people will learn what what you learn from that from from this book uh, right now I'm working in my edition like the new book I'm working in which is going to be about the Apostle of Jesus and Islam and I hope people will enjoy it and will learn a lot from it uh, you know writing books it's let us say it's a good thing because that will preserve your work for maybe centuries to go and these days because of videos things is even better but remember Muslims always they fight my videos they try to take it down so I advise you all to download my videos save them in Gmail account uh, G Drive uh, you know save them because if they can they will take every single video of mine out of the net this cult is very aggressive satanic cult and they will not hesitate to use all their means to stop me stop me from exposing Islam and for me I want to be sure that one day when I die the knowledge will not die with me so people youth young ones they still have the knowledge and this is why I believe writing more books is very very important I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you all and don't forget to pray for this fellow who called us Muhammad to open his eyes and see the truth and I pray for him life on air that may the Lord open your eyes and show you what kind of a quality you are missing Muhammad is a person he was busy speaking of doing good but he never did good he was a criminal a killer child molester while Jesus was healing the blind Muhammad was raping Aisha while Jesus was making the, 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 the dead man walk Muhammad was flirting with his own son wife while Jesus was feeding thousands of people Muhammad was stealing the food of people while Jesus said give your address the one who asked you for your coat give him your address and he did that Muhammad was accused by the Muslims that he stole a red underwear that is my Jesus and this is, is your Muhammad and remember at the end of the day that you Muslims believe that Jesus is alive and Muhammad is dead so the criminal is dead and the living God is a living God and this is who is my Lord I follow the living Jesus the Christ the Word of God the Holy his name is a glorious and you follow a dead man he was a child molester thank you for listening and Christ is Lord, Islam is false.
and we see you soon again. Bye-bye.